Hello and welcome to this session which is describing how to use GitHub with LoadRunner. GitHub as you know is a uh, software repository and in this case I have a, a LoadRunner samples repository containing a number of different LoadRunner scripts. There's one script in particular called Date.js which was last edited a couple of months ago and I need to make a couple of changes to that. As you can see I have options to either download that through the browser where I can click cloning desktop or as I'm doing here through my github for windows client. Once I've downloaded that the scripts are visible in my local folder. The date.js script can just be opened by double clicking on the USR file I want to make two changes. I want to change the runtime settings, which I'm doing here, as well as adding some new functionality to the end of the script. If I just run the script, you can see the output appear at the bottom of the screen, and the last line of output tells me that the third Sunday of this month is the 15th of June 2014. That's one of the functions from the external JavaScript library. I want to add an extra function to count down the number of days to the next HP Discover conference. I've already prepared the code, so I'm just going to paste that in. As you can see there. And then run the script to make sure that it's still working OK and that I get the desired output. You can now see that it says there are six days until HP Discover in Las Vegas. Once I'm happy that the script has run successfully, I can obviously close down for UGen and start the process of uploading the modified script into the repository. close down the files I don't want. You can see that the last modified date for this is now today's date. And if I go to GitHub for Windows and open the load runner samples folder I can see that there are three files that have been modified by my action. It's possible to use a git ignore file to uh, tell GitHub to ignore the uploads and, and not bother uploading things like output and backup files and all those kind of things, which I normally do. I'm just typing in here the uh, a description of the changes that I made. Two places to do that. One which becomes a title and the other one where you can be a bit more verbose and put some detail in. When you click commit to master, that then commits that to your local repository. You then need to click sync to synchronize that to the web-based repository so that other people can share your script. If you then flick out of uh, one client and into the browser, by refreshing the... Uh, the browser you can see that the load runner samples repository has been updated more recently and in particular the date js script has a comment saying that I added a new function 30 seconds ago and that's now available for other people to download and use as they wish and that completes the session hope you found it useful thank you for watching